using a truck winch to remove a rotten, hung-up tree in an urban setting. William Hovey Smith, 2019. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and I would be out in the woods turkey hunting, but I'm helping my friend move a tree out of his yard. I'm also the author of Create Your Own Job Security, which is a business book that promotes entrepreneurship starting at a very early age, but allows you to have a business to make money anytime you want it anywhere in the world. Now, we started this when my witch had a mechanical failure, and I had to repair it, which is shown in a previous video. This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And we have our refurbished winch on my Ford Ranger in a friend's backyard in Atlanta. And he's got a dead, hung-up pine tree. And we're going to see if we can get that down for him with our winch. Now, it's some probably 100 miles between my house and where I am right now. So we're going to take a closer look at the winch and see how my repairs did. I had to reattach the control box because it had come loose and all but fallen off. Now that it's made a reasonable trip, we'll take a look. Well, the control box is still very, very solidly on the winch. And these two screws here that actually go underneath this bar, and I've now got lock washers on, have held without loosening. So that's a good lick. Because of a jagged piece of metal that actually penetrated down and was catching up on these cords. That red piece of metal in the bottom center of the photo is what was causing all the trouble. I was having problems unspooling the winch easily and it actually put some kinks in the cable. We'll now see if we can take it off by hand. And we should be able to it to do now with this with a free reeling reel. And yeah, she's coming off very, very smoothly and easy. No pressure at all. This is what we're trying to extract. But there's a dead tree on the pull line immediately in front. So we're gonna have to take this tree down first and then attach to this one and pull it as well as remove the stump. Now that we have the target trees cut, I've got the one in front of the tilted hung up pine. Then I've also got the trunk of that pine cut, which is pretty well rotten. So we're gonna go ahead and start up the winch and pull that first tree down and then hook up to the fallen pine. We've taken that cut off tree trunk that we just did and we've wedged it between those two forks. So the idea is when this comes down that that pine will fall between those two forks and be guided on that limb and not crash on the neighbor's fence and hopefully all will go well. Now that rotten piece cracked as it was being pulled and so we're going to hook up again to it and we'll take it down a bit at the time if we have to.
again, we have an interesting result. Okay, we're getting it down piece by piece. All right, we'll take it like that. I'm going to cut one of those, I'm going to cut that hung up section over here, and then that'll leave a very small piece to actually extract from over the top of the fence. I'm going to cut that suspended branch. Okay, we've got everything down now, except the one remaining piece of trunk. And the piece is cut up, so yeah, things are looking pretty good here. Everything about the winch worked really well, and so now we'll re-spool it and even up the wind on the drum. Okay, we're getting very close indeed. This is an excellent way to crush or amputate a finger. And there we have it. We're done. For now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Not only am I the author of prize-winning outdoor books like Extreme Muzzleloading, which talks about turkey hunting, I also discuss turkey hunting and backyard deer hunting, how to take turkeys with crossbows with crossbow hunting, and also have an e-book series, and these books also contain information on turkey hunting with muzzleloaders. My new business book, Create Your Own Job Security, prompts individual entrepreneurship at any stage and any size business. If you need to start a little business to earn a little money on the side, okay, I'll tell you how to do that. If you want to start a business that's going to maybe bring you a billion dollars in 40 years or so, well, i tell you how to do that one too. For more information on Create Your Own Job Security, you can go to my website, which is given below. Well, rotten trees are always more dangerous to work with than sound lumber. So you can have branches fall anytime, but uh, <laughs> as you saw in this video, uh, particularly for when you have rotten ones. Now this winch is on my outdoor truck has been an excellent investment and has done very much more than just pull it out of the mud occasionally. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 750 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. For more information on my business books, you can go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.